<clears throat> oh, what's up guys, Sanjog here. So I'm ju just off to a personal development course called Landmark Forum. And I th thought I'd make a k quick video before it, after day one, two, and then the final day. Basically, I honestly don't know what to expect at all. Like I have zero expectations. Just going in, seeing if I can develop myself personally, I guess. But one thing I have heard is that it challenges your relationships quite a lot with anyone. So, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll catch you in 24 hours after day one. What's up guys, just a quick video. I'm a little bit late for the, the landmark day two, but I wanted to quickly say day one was interesting, not quite what I expected, but learn a few interesting things and we'll see how day two. It's Sanjog here, landmark day two just done. It's 10 something p.m. Thought I'd make the video at the end of the day today rather than while I'm rushing in the morning tomorrow. In the morning tomorrow. So, how was it? Yeah, it's been lots of ups and downs. It was like it was amazing. We covered lots of stuff to do with our parents and relationships. I ended up calling my mum, dad and brother. Amazing conversations, especially with my dad. I, I felt on top of the world. Then later on, called up my ex-girlfriend, who's now a, a good friend of mine. And the initial conversation that we had was awesome, like so good, 10 out of 10. Then I tried to fix something that I'd done in the past to somebody else that involved her. And I didn't handle it in the way I should have. And I sh 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 should have asked her about it, to be, to be fair. But I didn't, but I just spoke to them anyway. She wasn't too happy, she wasn't too happy about that. So I ended up feeling a bit down after that. I realized that I, uh, I hadn't fully grasped the concepts of the teaching of the day. I'd, I'd almost got it, but there were a few things I was still doing wrong. So I tried to fix that with her. Um, that's still in progress, uh, trying to fix it. But uh, overall, really good day. Uh, a few of the other things we covered, we, talk, we talked about integrity, uh, I can't even remember, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tired, but it was a really good day. What was interesting about my speech was, when I was making the phone call with my dad, I was way more fluent than I would normally be. Way more. So clearly, me expressing myself and not holding back my feelings is directly to do with my speech. And I also put my hand up to speak in front of, in front of everyone again. So on the first day I got there straight away, told everyone I started, blah, 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 got claps. On the second day, I was the first one up again, and I talked about 
what I'd learned yesterday and about how I use my starter as an excuse to not grow and move forward in my life. And speech was fluent. And then as soon as she asked me a question about something, I started doubting myself and I started blocking on every word again. So, stuttering's a pretty tough cookie to crack or tough nut to crack. But I'll get there. It's definitely, it's definitely, and I'm being present in the moment, expressive, and I'm not holding back. I'm fluent. Like, I, like I'm a fluent person. It's just, I get in that holding back mode or mentality so often actually, but the more I can ac access that fluency, the more I prove to myself, there's nothing physically wrong with the speech mechanism, Sanj. Anyway, I've kind of got sidetracked here. Landmark day two was really, really good. I'll ch check in tomorrow for day three. What's up guys? Landmark day three done. It's 11, 15 p.m. Day three was definitely the conversation of the Landmark Forum. So, at the start, we covered a f f few t t topics, but during the evening session, it was we had this really long conversation and then it was just building and building and people started to get frustrated, didn't know what was going on and then she, the, the, the teacher of the forum made her point and the penny dropped. You could see it, like the whole group collective had a fundamental shift in, in, in how they view the world. And it's kind of hard to explain if you haven't done it, but I've never seen such a group of different unhappy people on, on Friday become one united, happy, sharing, caring group on a Sunday. It was crazy. Best course I've ever done, I would hands down. Like, I literally want everyone in the world to do it. And yet, it does seem like I've been brainwashed. It seems, seems like I've joined a cult. Uh, to those two things. Brainwashing, no. It's not brainwashing. It's just showing you what's already there. Like, it's, it's weird, you just gotta do it. And in, in terms of being a cult, it probably is a cult, but it's the best cult I've ever seen. Everyone is so nice. There's no negativity anywhere. Everyone's positive, everyone pushes each other. Everyone's on the same page. And it's honestly about helping people. I've never come across a place where it's genuinely about helping everybody. Like, of course they charge because they, they have to pay the teacher and the and, uh, and they have to pay for the building and stuff, etc, etc. But the actual people are just there to help. So yeah, that's it. Landmark Forum, 10 out of 10. Honestly, amazing. If you haven't done it, I would really recommend checking it out. There's an extra se session this Tuesday, the 8th of January 2019, that any of you who are seeing this video are more than welcome to come. The address is 203 Evers Holt Street. It's close to Euston Station. Literally, you can come as my guest. Just have a look, check it out because yeah, life changing, so good. Just amazing. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. 
So it's Wednesday the 9th of J J January. January. I officially completed the Landmark Forum yesterday evening. Just wanted to make a quick follow-up video. So, Landmark Forum, I'd probably give it a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Honestly, it's just opened my eyes as to what's already there. It's allowed me to clear up any negative emotions I've been having in my past. I've reconnected with cousins who I, I, hadn't, I hadn't spoken to in years. I cleared things up with my dad, my mum, everyone. So feeling good. It it has allowed me to distinguish between what's actually happening and the story that you create of, of, of any situation. But the most eye-opening thing was about being present. And I've heard it a million times. Oh, just be present. Don't focus on this. Just be present. And I, I understood it. But I finally got it on the last day of the forum. I'm not going to spoil how it happens or what happens is, but the penny, penny dropped and it clicked that there is no past or future. It's all in our heads. All we've got is now and now and now this very moment. So yeah, Lamark Forum eye-opening, do it. I literally think everybody in the world needs to do it because they will be happy and the world, the world will be a happier place.